Sup guys, it's this row. I'm really happy because today it's guy number 19 and I've been having a little bit of downtime with tournaments so I'll be able to put out a lot of guides and I'm also excited because today is the first time I'll be doing a short guide so uh, things will be shorter and hopefully explain really well. If there's any suggestion, feedback you want to leave, make sure to use the description below. Make sure to thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Have a good time. Alright, so the build order we'll be looking over today is a 3-gate Stargate. It can be used for uh, defense, it can be used to be aggressive, it all depends on what you scout. I'll be showing you guys examples of what to scout and how to react later on. So the build order starts with a 9 panon. you want to be chronoing th 4 times your nexus, so we're chronoing right now 11-12. We'll be putting down a 13-gate, which means you have to rally your nexus where you want your gate to be just like that this build i've been using this build for quite a while it's nothing new nothing groundbreaking as you see i've i chronoed my probe before it ended you want to scout for proxies and then send your probe over to your open in space this build order doesn't have a hundred percent win rate it will mostly you will mostly have to rely on your micro and your decision making when you scout now I'm taking 14 gas, I'll be making 16 panon shortly after a chrono boost. I prefer to put my second panon behind my mineral line, that way if he scouts with his mothership core and tries to poke inside my base, the star gate will be very far away for him to be able to do that. But it's basically up to you where you prefer it, some people will prefer the star gate closer so the oracle would get, will get there quicker. On 18 you want to be putting down the core. And then shortly after, you want to be grabbing a gas on 18 as well. As you can see, my money, uh, I, I can afford the gas without cutting probes. After the gas, you'll be chronoing again, uh, simply because there's nothing better to chrono. In this game, I'm actually playing an AI, so it doesn't matter what he's doing. But usually, you want to scout for the gas timing, as he had 3-3 three, three on each gases, uh, and only has one gate and he's skipping a zealot or something, or does he have two gate? If he has two gate, you have to play different, you have to play defensive, so that's what you want to be looking for. On 20 supply, around 320, you want to be putting down a second gate, so you can be able to make a lot of stalkers, and you want to fill up your gases. On 22, you want to be making a stalker, and you want to start warp gear research. You want to hold back chrono boost if he's still in your base, and you want to send your probe somewhere at the bottom of the map. It depends on every map, basically. Uh, so on 22, getting the Stalker, and then on 24, you want to be making a Panon. Now, the Stargate, you don't want to be putting it in front of his face, and this game is actually not in my base, because I use a computer, I also make a Pro, but cancel, I'm a little silly. So I put down the Stargate. On 24 Supply, around 410, you need to Chrono Warp Gear Research two times to sync up the build order, keep that in mind. The first soccer that comes out will be the front runner. It will be poking to see if your opponent comes out of his base. Then you get two more stalkers, and those will be looking for probes because you will not. Those three stalkers are not there to go fight. They're there to look out and wait for the first round of warp, and that's how the build works. Then you'll get the third gate at 26 food around 450. When the Stargate finishes, you'll have one more Chrono Boost, so you want to be spending it on that. Usually your first Oracle will be around 30 food, uh, sometimes a little bit less. Your second and third Stalker will be scouting for proxy pylons, scouting probes, maybe sometimes a Mothership. Your first Warpin will be, should be ready at 6.05, so you have to sync up and make sure that your second and third Stalker are back where your panon is around 6.05. The AI decided to be weird and take a fast expand. Usually what you want to do is after the panon, you want to be suiciding your probe to see their army composition. And sometimes you'll even want to expand before your first round of warp in, but it's always situational. If they do one gate fast expand, it is really important to catch up and probe count by putting pressure with at least two oracles. When you suicide your probe and you feel like they're trying to save up on gas, make sure to make a second oracle so that you don't die to DTs. Also, it can be scary to go oracle with this kind of build if you know your opponent likes Phoenix, 
So it's really up to you how you play the game and how you end up doing. Now let's take a look at my game versus Arthur and WCS Challenger North America. I knew you liked to put 3-gate pressure. This 3-gate Stargate build is really good versus 3-gate pressure, but you have to make a few adjustments. Also, make sure to scout inside your base with your first stalker. You want to be saving as much time as you can with your first stalker so that your second and third stalker don't have to go back there because meeting up with your first stalker is really crucial. As you can see here, my probe was at the top. It was very far away because I knew he liked to 3-gate pressure so there was no reason to be eager with my probe. A good sign of a 3-gate pressure is when someone is really trying to push onto you. I didn't see the probe but I kind of knew with the Mothership Core that he wanted to 3-gate pressure. My first warpin will not be over there and it will not be stalkers. You need a sentry. The pylon is there just in case he wants to contain me and then I can make a few zealots to harass him. Don't let all the stalkers up the ramp. One or two is best. And then the oracle comes in while I'm being defensive. This is why I say this build order is good for offensive purposes and defensive purposes. Of course he could have prevented that by having a stalker or two already there. but. I knew he really liked his aggressive 3 gate pressure and, and he ended up winning the series 2-1 to one by being aggressive every game, so props to him. Guide number 19, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have tutorials or tips or tricks with Vegas uh, or you, you have suggestions on how I could do things because there's something that was not explained to how you like it, feel free to let me know. The build order will be in the description below, so I hope you go check it out. Thank you for watching, have a good time.